Hello C4D users, my name is Kyle and welcome to the overview on how to use the Lightbox as part of the C4 Depot Studio Kit. I will be using the Pro Edition of the Studio Kit in this video, which is the expanded tool set you're really going to want to be using for your projects. As you can see, I have already placed a few elements in the scene here. We will just need to add a Lightbox. To get started, let's go on our C4 Depot Studio Kit located in the Content Browser. To add a Lightbox to your scene, just double click on a Lightbox. The C4 Depot Studio Kit is designed to be used with minimal efforts in order to produce stunning renders while saving you precious time. The Lightbox is designed to simulate how a studio softbox interacts with its subject in the real world. It's made from a combination of dozens of parameters and elements, all being driven by Expresso in real time and is controlled using a simple, easy to use interface. Let's go over each parameter of the light box. Here we can change the color of the light to any color using the color picker or sliders. For this project, I want to keep it to its default white. Here we can adjust the overall brightness of the light. Moving right along, we have a gradient to adjust the vignette effect of the softbox. This can be adjusted in various ways and provides a more realistic effect on objects that reflect the light box, such as this car. Moving on, we can change the fall off and fall off radius. Fall off is the effect in which light decays as it travels further. By default, this is set to inverse square, which is physically accurate. However, you can adjust it to better suit your needs here via the pull down and also the distance it travels by entering a specified value to distance or even turn fall off to none and have no light decay. Next we have the size where we can adjust the X length and Y of the light. Customize it thin, tall, big, small. Smaller for harsher lighting and sharper shadows or bigger for soft lighting and shadows. I'm going to turn it back to 500 by 500 for this project. Here is the lighting samples. This will be how many light samples are used across the area of the light box. You may want to decrease or increase depending on the size and shape of the light. 80 will work just fine for this project. Next, we have scene by camera, meaning the light will be rendered if it is in view of the camera. If you want to hide the light from being rendered, just uncheck this. Here, we can adjust the targeting properties for the light. By default, targeting is on and set to the world center. You can drop different objects from the Objects Manager into this field in order to better take control of objects targeted. Or turn off targeting by unchecking the box. And then you can manually rotate the light. For now I'm going to turn it back on and move it roughly where it was. Well, that's the overview on how to use the light box in the C4 Depot Studio Kit. So for this scene, I dropped in a backdrop, an HDRI environment, a light box and turn on global illumination in the settings. Let's take a look at the final render, shall we? As you can see, we have stunning professional results and minimal efforts. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the Pro Edition of the kit. It includes extra lighting tools, additional backdrops, HDR skies, and loads of professionally set up ready to render studio presets. For more info on the Pro Kit, be sure to see the PDF in the product folder.